What's up? This is HG News Tech. So I'm here. Sorry for not uploading yesterday or the other day. We did have severe weather yesterday. I was watching the weather and I just delayed a couple. Of, I thought it was my face, my YouTube, and probably it was just my Facebook. But there were some coronavirus things I posted and got to be cautious, of course. But uh, the state is on quarantine for two weeks. So, like, if you don't have to get out, you have to stay in your house. That's what our governor has said. And um, it's just, it's over 400 cases. Like, 450 or 440 or something cases. And uh, it's spreading rapidly and it's avoiding, we can't, we really want to get this to the curve. Kick it to the curb so it doesn't grow and you just keep going throughout the state and the, you know, the rather states. But there was also severe weather yesterday. And uh, I might actually record a video prior to that one, just within like the last hours or less. Uh, there was a severe thunderstorm warning for my area where I live. And then right after that, boom, tornado warning going off. It's like, Oh, good Lord. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it was about 3.32 p.m. yesterday. We had a trail warning in our location. And it went to St. John's, north of my town. And that's where it touched down. It only stayed alive for 45 seconds. And then it stopped working. It basically went back up. And in that during that time, there was quite a bit of wolf damage. A lot of houses were destroyed in a way. And they touched down in someone's yard, I heard. And then, you know, it was like, it didn't seem like it was coming, but there was a group of thunderstorms, apparently, that were coming in before 3 o'clock in the afternoon to our location through Perry County. And then it was going kind of towards, I mean, there were other areas that were being affected, but that storm ended up producing a couple tornadoes that yesterday. And, uh, I was in my room, you know, I'm in my room and I see this tornado warning, so I get all my sheets and um, pillows and things so I can protect myself. And before I know it, I got my mom coming in, you know, take me, you know, to her house because we don't have a basement. Both houses are fine, by the way, there's no damage. Um, but thankfully, our area wasn't affected, but St. John's, I think, had some tree damage as well in... Trailers, like campers were flipped. A roof was missing. A couple of those, you know, trucks, vehicles were flown up in the air and then smashed as well. And the tornado only lasted 45 seconds to believe. And during that time, it did do that damage. I was aware of it, I think, before the alert went off. Like, I... I didn't really know there were some, some severe thunderstorms coming our way. And within like three minutes of that severe thunderstorm warning or so, we had a warning. And, um, yeah, I, I went over there last night, and it's on the other part of the town. It's like a little bit back behind me, but it's like a mile or two away. And um, we were in the, you know, the bathroom, you know, with our heads, you know, towards the shower and then inside there as mom was watching all the weather and all that. And, um, had pedals on top of our heads, and at one point, I think it was like, at first it ended at 4.15, but it was a couple of minutes prior to that, it went over us. It was really over us at one point in time, over our, our house, over our location, and thankfully it didn't touch down one yard uh, for a neighbor, for a person, um, they went down in someone's yard, it went to touch down, of course, I don't know what you know, what house that was, but it did do damage. And, uh, there were a couple tornadoes from that, I think. Um, most of the state was in a tornado watch last night, except for my county, uh, for Pitneyville and then the other, my town. It's like Perry County, basically, you know, how it is. And, um, there must have been some severe weather last night into the evening hours, the late hours, but that never spawned a tornado or any kind of severe thunderstorms. If that would occur, it would have been us having to go to the bathroom because we don't have a shelter. You know, we need to build one, but they're really expensive. But uh, 
I think we had tornadoes, I think, around 8 o'clock at night. Usually we don't have one around midnight, usually for us, thankfully. But um, they can occur without any notice, and I thought maybe we'll be fine. And now we have our first one of the year. And I took pictures of that, of course, and we had a flood warning as well. So we had three warnings, basically, as well as something else. But uh, that was a bunch of thunderstorms, strong ones, going over the lines of Illinois and Missouri. And there were a couple folks that making it up here from, like, Arkansas late last night in the early morning hours. And thankfully, uh, there wasn't any issues. Um, thankfully, it didn't really get out of control compared to the first storm. But um, there's been worse than that before. But um, yeah, it was. It's usually how it is. It's kind of scary to think about it, but that's where my a lot of my anxiety is. Anxiety is, and not uh, a virus pandemic. Because tornadoes can kill more than. A simple virus because you don't know when it could occur it's just how mother nature is you know how the weather acts and uh, most likely the time some people are incorrect on predicting them and you just gotta be cautious you know be ready I would love for us to be able to train our shelter for like below but uh, the money is tight at the moment and that would be a really recommended thing as well even if we're not in tornado alley we're still affected by these storms in the springtime. And there's supposed to be more bad weather coming, I think, Wednesday or so, some strong thunderstorms, but uh, we will know a couple of days prior or, or less if there's really a really big concern of a tornado kind of storm. Um, yeah. It kind of hit us late, and um, that was it went quicker than I thought. And, um, yeah, we were watching the TV and all that through New Wave, and we don't have cable. When we had, They had cable by uh, over the air, so mine would have been disrupted by the winds and the storm itself and the hail possible with it. And uh, I can't imagine. I mean, someone's house, one of our, you know, I can't, of course I don't want to. But you gotta be watchful, you know. Some of those thunderstorms are they really when they really mean a warning, they really mean like take shelter and not get out of your house and you know, stay somewhere where there's not a lot of windows and glass and everything. And that bathroom was just perfect because there was none of that. Compared to mine that's one window on the side and then the shower towards the other part of the bathroom. And um even if it was small, it would still be a hazard if one came through here and did chaos to our town. It would be a not a place to go, but still, sh you, know, you know, still showed yourself as much as possible from these tornado outbreaks. And we will have more this season, like they always do, when they hire up from the Gulf, when the cold air and warm air mix together, and then. Of course, you had to have a couple other things, but a lot of what happened more. I was watching this storm for like two weeks, and I was like, I know there's a possibility. And out of the blue, like, yeah, we got some severe weather coming today. And it was a late one in the evening, I mean, afternoon, but I was luckily off. I would, they got, wherever you're working, you know, like a store, we got, we just got like cold black, like, which is a tornado, like, get to the back and everyone back to there. And um, I always followed that code because I remember that code so easily. It's like tornadoes, like it's pure black. That's what usually when you see a tornado. But this one wasn't, you couldn't see this one. This was like rain wrap, like the rest of them are. But most times you could actually see them carrying debris and them being black and with all the roofs and then the shingles and all the different things that sucks up in the air and just tosses everywhere in random places. Um, I just don't know when the next storm system will move through here, but just be cautious, you know, have a place to go if the weather just goes bonkers with severe weather. So, uh, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and comment like below because it could really help me out a lot. So thanks for watching. See ya.